If you listen closely, you can hear the beach in the background. You can hear the waves smashing into the shore. It's beautiful. And uh, we love to see and we're so thankful for our vision. And when we can't see, we know what happens when people lose their vision. They learn to rely more on their ears. They learn to rely more on their hearing. They learn to rely more on what they feel. And they learn to rely on their other senses. It's almost a sensory reweighing situation where the brain says, all right, I can't use my vision anymore. I'm gonna use my other systems and use those to help me survive. When our clients have dizziness or, um, or sometimes I think it just happens, they can sometimes rely too much on their eyes for their balance. In other words, they can become what we call visually dependent. I mentioned this in a prior video where patients walk down to the ocean, you know, and they, they look at the ocean and they uh, are walking on the shore and as they're walking on the shore, the water's coming in and out and all of a sudden it makes them feel more off balance. And that's a form of visual dependence where they rely so much on their eyes, their eyes see the movement and so that makes them feel like they're moving more than they're actually moving and it makes them feel unsteady. That occurs in our normal days as we uh, walk around our homes and as we have conversations. I recently had a client and I've even learned in my exams when I'm talking to patients who have these visual dependencies is that the more I use my hands and the more I talk, the more dizzy I make them. So that's not a sign that there's something serious wrong. It just means they rely a lot on their eyes for their balance. We call it visual vertigo. One simple test I do to know if a person has this, and it's not actually the purpose of the test, is smooth pursuit. So I say, all right, watch my finger. We do like a figure eight or an H. And the purpose of that test is actually to test the central part of their vestibular system to see how smooth their eyes are moving. And, uh, but what I've learned that, that happens is the patients who have visual dependence, usually within about three seconds of doing that, they close their eyes and they shudder and they say, oh, stop, I can't handle that. And these are the patients who also get more dizzy if they close their eyes in the shower. Uh, they're, they're the patients who watching light flicker through uh, trees when they're driving down the road or watching a patient on a treadmill or watching a treadmill move. Uh, just any idea of watching something move makes them feel funny. So that's called visual dependence. It's usually something that's set off from having vertigo, some form of vertigo, from some type of peripheral or central problem, but the person can also be born with uh, visual vertigo, or, or they can just have a pre.